they we have to train AI. So what does that look like in the healthcare space? It's, it's such a good question. There's so many thoughts mm -hmm. I can share on that. But the, the one immediate thing is actually that question that you asked, you know, at the mm -hmm. end of all these panel sessions, there's the Q&A. And so that was a, a big, you know, question, hands raised around it. And so a lot of these AI technologies that are out in the wild today, they, they are actually HIPAA compliant. A lot of them make um, very specific efforts to ensure that they are regulated. The other thing I will say is this has opened up a space for more companies to come in with protective solutions and make mm -hmm. sure that, that, you know, that data is private. Um, a lot of, you know, examples that were shared, these patients are opting in to share their data so, and they can always opt out. So there are a lot of contingencies in place. Mm -hmm. uh, but to your point, you know, I, I went to an event prior to this, um, the NC Chamber Healthcare event, and there was a lot of talk about governance. And so while, you know, we are understanding there's a responsibility when it comes to accessing this data, we're still kind of in the wild west of AI. I mean, we're rapidly evolving. And so there was a charge to those healthcare leaders and stakeholders to take that responsibility um, in terms of, you know, the ethical use of data.